Hey guys, we're back with some Fate Grand Order. We're doing Camelot, like usual. That's all we've done. Because that's when I started. You, you get it. <laughs> we're in Chapter 8 now, and we're gonna see Sun Zong. I don't know how to say their name. I'm pretty sure Sun Zong is acceptable, at least. Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, 100 faces. Sure, why not? Give us those extra pin points. You get 200 for using story ones. Skip over to this. Uh, what do we do here? Sorry, Hercules. And yeah, that's fine. Fighting Berserker and Assassin. Don't know who that is. So, Song Zong returning from the West. One out of two. So, sorry, I was adjusting my mic. It happened so long ago, I've lost track. Great, better of your passed out last time. That was yesterday. Back to recording daily. I've seen many things and forgotten many things. Yet among them, that memory still remains in my heart. They say this winter will be harsh. We must dismantle some of the villages. And I think we only just finished driving away the picks from the north. The misfortunes continue, better of you. That day, the king visited me when I was deep in thought in the watchtower, with no attendance alone, out of the blue. He had the appearance of a young boy, but in truth, he was not so far in age for me at the time. At 16, he drew the Sword of Selection from the stone. Was it 16? I thought the Savior was 14 when she drew the stone. The, the sword. And became the ruler of Britain. After that, he apparently ceased to age. They said it was the fairy's blessing, but I couldn't help but think it was a curse. The young king fought through- th wait, did Bedivir not know Saber was a girl? I know some of them did know. Did Bedivir not? He's gonna be an inspiration surprise when he sees the Lion King. <laughs> the- The young king fought through the fiercest battles I've ever seen. He was a great leader who brought glory to Burden. He led foreign tribes to victory against the tyrannical king Vortigern, who was ravaging the land. He united the warring feudal lords, fought off the advancing picks from the north put an end to the wave of Saxons closing in from the mainland, and restored Camelot Castle as the crown jewel of Londinium, the largest city in all of the British Isles. The one and only King of Knights, King Arthur. I told the king then and there, as long as he shall live, Britain shall never perish, and suffering shall never prevail. That is not true. Camelot and its, and its surroundings may be flourishing, but the rest of the land remains in, in ruins. Even if Camelot were to accommodate those whose villages were destroyed, it could not restore their lifestyle. Plowing the land, living life day by day, raising children. Ah, there's a bug! Ah! That is what leads to future prosperity. There's no future in merely sheltering the people. Eventually, the noose is sure to tighten. Unlike the knights of their round table, giddy from all their victories and glories, the king always looked for him. So it's better for you telling us this, or is this just him you're menacing? Things were difficult, were different before Camelot was destroyed, though. Sir Kay spoke of how the king used to smile more often, back when he used to travel the island in disguise. You know, Kay's not a servant. I wonder, like, yet. I wonder if he qualifies for one. I don't know a lot about Kay. I think he's Arthur's cousin. I think? I don't know anything about what he did, though. But now, not a trace of a smile remained. The king alone saw those dark clouds waiting on the horizon. Perhaps the sunset was making me nostalgic, and so at that moment, I asked the king a timid question. One that stemmed from the doubt and unrest that had plagued me ever since I was granted to seat at the round table. Why did you choose a knight as worthless as me to be a knight at the round table? You feel unworthy because you are inferior to the others? How foolish. The same goes for me. In build, I am no match for others. In swordsmanship, many are, are my better. However, bonds must not be measured by strength or weakness alone. Friend and foe, good and evil, benefit and detriment. Just as those are all different things, the knights of the round table all serve different purposes. Friend and foe, good and evil. Friends are good, foes are evil. But the king said they were different things. It was unexpected. In this area of warfare, he was the only king who looked down and saw the situation in its, in its entirety. In all likelihood, the king never said this to any of the other knights. It's something he said only to me, and it's obvious why. In that moment, the king told me thus. The Saxon invaders are our enemies, but they are not evil. If he had mentioned such a thought to the other knights, many would have criticized him. That's right. 
The Saxons just came to this I island searching for land to live on. Thus they are the enemy, but their actions are not evil. What they wish for is inherently good. And if it is good, there must come a time when they will serve an important function for this island. As long as we are human, conflict will arise. The division of friend or foe is born from benefit and detriment. We are now in an era where that is an extreme, an era of winter where neither side relents until the other is crushed. I hate to even imagine creating a round table bound only by strength in such a time. It had fallen to evil. We did not take the oath in order to kill our enemies. We took up arms for the future of our brethren. That is why. That is why we need so many rolls, better gear. Does our camelot shine because it was created by force? Of course not. This place is made up of everyone's dreams. It is forged from the desire for man alone to create a utopia, albeit just barely. That's why we need knights like you. Compassionate knights who can pick up on the details of people's lives. Details that go in and I wouldn't notice. Even now, my heart aches every time I think of it. I had no idea just how many hopeless just how much hopeless the king felt then. Not until I heard about it from Merlin. Stupid and weak as I was at the time, I responded thus. It's too difficult a topic for me to understand, but I too enjoy living at Camelot. Thomas's wife gave birth just the other day, twin girls, such adorable little darlings. How mundane and commonplace to reply, yet I remember giving it with such such satisfaction, such delight. Good grief. You had me worried for a moment. Such concerns do not become you, oh simple and honest bed of your. However, I am hardened to learn you lead such a fulfilling life. That should be a source of sustenance for all. His hair shone gold in the sunset. That was the moment when I finally felt I was in the presence of a true king. The knights feared that they had not seen the king smile for quite some time, but that was not the case, truly. The king did not smile for himself. He smiled upon seeing the happiness of others. That's going to be like the only time regular Artoria appears in the main story. She still hasn't appeared in... Well, I mean, you could argue she's appeared three times now, counting, you know, Fuyuki, London, and, you know, the Lion King. But not the original Artoria. The gravity of my sins made me want to rip out my own heart. Despite remembering that, I still turned an unfaithful sword towards the king. Oh, forgive me. I've committed a deed I'm becoming of a knight in your service. Please, deliver justice upon my transgression. All that I have done, night after night, was for... Okay, back to real time now. Blade better if you're down to sleep. He has no noticeable wounds, but he's physically exhausted. If only one had a servant specializing in medical care. Both Lord Cursarm and I have no such knowledge. I haven't mastered treatment spells either. It'd be really convenient if Nightingale was here. Do you think Vetiver's normal phantasm wears away at him after all? It definitely takes its toll on him, not just physically, but apparently mentally as well. He was crying out in his sleep just now. Forgive me, my king, he said. That's not surprising. Despite only being fused with the knight of the round table, even I feel an indescribable irritation when we, when we fight them. A sense of guilt telling me that this is treason against King Arthur. So first Sir Bedivere, an actual member of the round table, must be a lot worse. It's related to the end of King Arthur's story. Sir Bedivere is one of King Arthur's longest serving knights. Okay, we're just going into the first voice. Pretend I didn't say that. Despite only having one arm, he is said to have been three times as successful than other knights in battle. On my other knights, I'm referring to ordinary knights. Compared to the other knights of the round table, Sir Bedivere's victories were modest. The most famous thing to note about him is from the end of King Arthur's life. King Arthur's final battle, the Battle of Camelon. It was a war not with invading Saxons, but within the nation between the Knights of Britain. Despite killing the traitor Mordred at Camelon, King Arthur himself suffered a fatal wound. The king cannot recover on a hill soaked with blood. Believing so, Sir Bedivere carried King Arthur to a pure, sheltered forest. Lying there, the king quietly spoke. Beyond this forest and over the hill is a lake. Cast my famed sword into it. The famous legend of returning the sacred sword Excalibur to the Lady of the Lake. King Arthur, sensing his own death, chose to return it to its proper owner. However, that marked the end of his life. His faithful retainer Bedivere, out of concern for the king, twice failed in this task. As long as the sword existed, the king was immortal. Bedivere believed it had the power to heal his mortal wound. Through the woods over a hill, debating the sword's return with each trip to the lake, 
he would fail and return to the king. And upon his return, he would lie to the king by saying, I have returned the sword. It is said to be Sir Bedivere's one and only act of disloyalty. Yes, a very compassionate decision, in keeping with Bedivere's character. But King Arthur could not be deceived. With a quiet voice, he would say to him, Do your duty. And so Bedivere made a third journey over the hill. This time, it was at dawn. Accepting that he could no longer swear the king's heart, he cast the sacred sword into the lake's depths. With Excalibur delivered to the Lady of the Lake, he made his way back to the forest. That is how King Arthur drew his final breath, and fulfilled his responsibility. The king's body was sent to a sea on a boat, and it is said to have reached the legendary paradise, Avalon. Yes, it is believed he will return when Britain is endangered, and lead the people once more. King Arthur's gravestone in England is said to have, a, to have the epitaph, Here lies Arthur, the once and future king. That must be tough. Yes, Sir Bedivere's anxiety is indeed a cause for concern. Fighting against his former brother must also be tough. But above all, his beloved King Arthur is being a tyrannical ruler, completely different from how he was in life. Even in the name of justice, turning on a king you once served must be an unforgivable act for a knight. There you are, we see you. Forgive my delay. What's this song? This is new. And nice. I've just returned from checking on the village. Thanks to you, we're, we're able to keep the damage to a minimum. On behalf of the village leader, I humbly offer my thanks. We are truly indebted to you. You may be right. If we were given up back then, this village wouldn't be here by now. It was a spur of the moment decision, but it looks like... Horsey, you okay? Yep. Bet was correct. I wonder what's up with that. Just that bug where it takes a minute to display. Uh... So glad. Yes. I shall impress that smile firmly upon my heart. Or see you sure to become a good master. By the way, Hassan, what are your plans from now on? Introduce you to the village leader, of course. Welcome all this way, after all. It's a good opportunity. We're already in co cooperation with each other. I'll in introduce you as my new military power. Hold on, I'll be right back. Sorry about that, I'm back. <laughs> I'm sure talks will go smoothly now. She too will, was grateful for your assistance. This song is really nice, by the way. Oh, speak of the devil. It's this way, 100 personas. These are my new brethren I was telling you about. I apologize for the delay. I have nothing but thanks for your assistance on this occasion. I'm the guardian of this village, an old man of the mountain, awesome of the 100 personas. Ah! What? You're the one from. Oh, crap! Ah, so you've already met. How convenient. <laughs> I met back in the valley with Tristan. Or Right, 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 right. Way back with Needle Chris. Well, did we, we didn't really meet her the second time. And that arguably could have been a different one. I refuse. They cannot be trusted. Fighting together is completely out of the question. Be thankful that I don't slaughter you here and now in front of these villagers. We won't feed you either. This place is strapped for food, even for today. For two days now, the villagers have only had a little water and salt. We have no food to serve the likes of you. What is this? Going so far as to reveal your face while making such threats. We'll see you. What on earth happened? Hundred Personas is indeed nasty and stubborn. Easy to resent, but also the most calculating awesome. Even without my explanations, she should know that we'll see you. This assistance is worth its weight in gold. We met once back in Egypt. Hey, quit speaking as if it's all over. Do you know how much I've suffered thanks to you? You disrupt my carefully crafted needle curse abduction, forced me to reveal my face, and now to suffer the humiliation of being rescued by such a hated enemy. The great founder was to find out about this. I'll surely be punished. I'll never fight alongside you. What's wrong with you, cursed arm? The trusted on night of the round table, of all people? Ha ha ha. It's like watching my former self. It'll be hard to convince this one. This is no time to be leisurely drink sipping tea. Indeed. My impression of Hassan of the Cursed Arm keeps changing, but this seems to be his true form. Yes. I have a feeling he's like the old man of the mountain version of Bedivere. <laughs> but she's also an old man of the mountain. Without her help, we can't even advance under the holy city. We gotta convince her somehow. Mm, by the way, Hundred Personas, how's the gathering matter going? Oh, that. No developments. At this rate, it's just a matter of waiting for death. 
I'm sure she's not one to break your silence, but... I hear there are masters of torture within the round table. If she were to reveal her plans before she dies, we would lose her chance of a counterattack. Hmm, that's worrying. Truly worrying. If only we could find someone somewhere. Someone stronger than us, able to work independently, good at leading servants, and willing to help us. Ah. Uh, do we know anyone like that? Where are you ever going to find such a convenient helper? Give me a break, fool. Right here, in front of my face. Fools. Ah! Silently shadow boxes! <laughs> Senpai? Seems we can help them in some way. Yes, to put in simply, one an old man of the mountain has been captured by the enemy. Is that Serenity, or...? They said it was a girl, so that's the only other one, really. If there were any other old man of the mountain, who wouldn't be worried? She would have taken her own life upon capture. But this one is young, and her innate constitution prevents her from killing herself. Unless we rescue her, she may eventually leak our information to the enemy. Unfortunately, the fort she's being held in belongs to the round table. It'll be difficult to penetrate. We've sent a select few to attempt it, but so far, none have returned. Alright, leave it to us. I'm not saying sorry. So an instant reply. Well, how are you assuring? I knew you'd say so. So how about it, Hunter Personas? You said we cannot trust horse to eat you? After saving our skin twice, surely you have no complaints. Still, it all depends on what they do next. Let's have them prepare a hostage. There are many who promise to help, then flee. Leave one of your members here. I'll be in exchange for the captured old man of the mountain. I won't have any objections then. That's perfect! We can let Bedivere rest. And please take one of our leaders, Sir Bedivere, as your hostage. And let him sleep. Guard him with your strictest men, so he can't do anything but lie down. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. That none of the round table, huh? That sounds like a fair exchange. And it's decided. Ready, horsey, eat you? Thank you, Hanson of the Cursed Arm. No, no, likewise. You're brilliant. Okay. Let me go save Serenity, then. Presumably. Then let's go. I'll show you to the fort. Uh, what about Ayash? I don't see him here. I've asked Lord Ayash to protect the village. There's no guarantee that Mordred won't come back. And without me, the village won't have anyone to provide food. But thankfully, when it comes to hunting, Lord Ayash is more skilled than me. I'll make sure everyone eats. This isn't the front lines. It's a shelter for people who can't fight. I see. That's why everyone looks so worried. Let's go. No need for unnecessary sympathy. After all, it takes an entire day to reach the fort. Before that, some war bomb exercises! There we go. I don't know if this bodes well or not. We're surrounded by bandits. Time's too pre precious for detours. We're out them in advance, or see you. Okay. But didn't you know? Detours are actually the shortcut. It's a... Uh, what, what is it? Act 5? Or... Trying to make a steel ball run reference, but I failed. I forget how it goes. Anyway, let's just kill these guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Important anecdote to discuss. I meant to do it yesterday, but forgot. I started reading this light novel. It's a Zari, Go Zari Goto series. It's by the guy who made Monogatari. It's a, it's like a murder mystery. Twelve people are on an island, and one of them died. I am calling it here. I'm like 100 pages in. Hikari is the culprit. It hasn't even really gone into the... Like, the trick is so simple. So basically, there's a river of paint, basically. A river of paint. Just paint flooding this room, but well, flooding. All throughout this, the floor of this room. And someone was killed on the other side of it. They couldn't get, get to the other side without, you know... Make, leaving footprints. People think that it it was left before the word murder. Because they talked to her on the phone and she said she spilled paint. Obviously, someone killed her, killed her, just spilled more paint, and left. It's not like she spilled, said, oh, I spilled paint all over the floor. It's so easy, even a child could solve it. But anyway, I, I'm just, I like to leave an alibi for this kind of stuff. It is 100% Ikar, well, not really. She's just the most likely. Like, she's a character that got screen time. Has a very solid alibi when the earthquake happened. And doesn't have one after it happened. It's, it's easy. She's also one of one of three triplets. Which, like, you know, triplets in a murder mystery? Come on, now there's going to be a trick with that. Like, the second I saw triplets, it's like, okay, one of them's the murderer. Or maybe this is just a decoy. 
Now we got a quartz. I do have three quartz now. I am going to save it for, I believe, tomorrow though. Behind the fortress. Because tomorrow, I believe tomorrow, the uh, second half of the Camelot banner starts, which means Lancer Artoria. Also, Gawain and Tristan. Well, I'm not too interested in them. If I got them, I'll level them. But. Okay, I, I assume this is just enforcement knights. Sun Zong, you're turning from the west. So yeah, that's my alibi. I'll I'll tell you guys whenever I finish it. If I, well, if I, it'll be a spoiler if I say if I was right or not. Ooh, that's tough. The winds are picking up. <laughs> Same terms of child's play for us. I go to Omen indeed. I'm sorry if that was difficult to understand. What hundred percent means is. Soldiers of the Holy City will never find us in a sandstorm. We're in luck. Now's your chance. Let's hurry. Okay. Thanks for translation. You don't need to translate every little thing I say. We'd get lost in all this if it weren't for you. What a relief you're here with us. Looks like we'll quickly reach the fort without encountering any Holy City forces. No, wait! Service detected up ahead. You want to send it the same way you are. Magical energy response is enormous. A servant? Oh, it's Lancelot. Is it strong? An A-Rang servant? Oh, no worry. Scratch that. Rather, it's an in- Oh, Sun Zong, right. It's an interesting one. How should I describe it? Shiny and fluffy, yet also stocky. It's a colorful servant. Impossible for the knights of the round table. It sounds like a weirdo. Wah! Help! Someone do something! Did he hear that? A woman scream. Master! A hero spirit that attacks a woman? Let let's go save her. Yeah, in which case, it may even be an anti-hero. It's a servant battle. Be on your guard. Fool! Hmm? A fool rushes off to help, even before, even before determining the opponent's strength? No, no. Seems that the time, reason, outweighed instinct. This time. The reason being that someone requires assistance. Or see, he was among the best at sensing danger. For a hopeless battle, there'd be more hesitation. But still, only hesitation? What a fool indeed. I'm going to save everyone. Like, after this ends, you know, time rewrites itself and nobody dies here. Meaning, everyone can die and I still save everyone. It's a perfect plan. But yeah, I have like... Every time I read a mystery novel, I end up talking about it. I haven't read any in a little while. The last one I read got me pretty mad. I think it was the last one I read. It was a while ago. Like, what? Not quite half a year, but around there. It was a... Uh, Canary murder case? That's how you say that, right? Like the bird. Canary. <laughs> the, I actually got mad at that one. I ranted about it in, in like three videos, so I won't do it again. It was a Fire Emblem video that I ranted in it about. If you want to hear that. <laughs> but. Basically, the trick was one that I've already seen multiple times before. But it wasn't foreshadowed at all. Like uh, spoilers, if you if you care about Van SS Van Dyne's novels at all, skip ahead past this battle. Basically, uh, it's what do you call them? Like the the record players, like they play like the they're called vinyl, right? Records. And he had one with their voice on it, so that it sounded like she was alive when she was already dead. And. They gave himself an alibi. But it's never mentioned that she owns one. And the detective only found out about it. Because he's like, I want to listen to some music. Not because he, he suspected the trick. Which, that breaks like two Nox rules right there. But the culprit was immediately obvious from the beginning. Like he asks the detective, oh hey, can you not mention me to the police? I don't want my family to get involved. Which, you know, automatically makes him suspect number one. That was just... I've heard his novels get better. Like, I think, like, the fifth or sixth one is, like, really good or something. I don't know. Hopefully. I plan to read more of them. I at least read the third one. I've only... That was the second one. And I haven't read one since then. Because it was originally planned to be a trilogy, so I figured, you know, if I'm going to read some of them, might as well stop after three. 
The first one wasn't ba bad, but it was kind of boring, I guess. The Benson murder case. For some parts of it, I just kind of felt lost. Like, okay, that's happening. I don't know if I just sped read it too fast, which I didn't really. Or because I read it in multiple sittings, or I don't know. Anyway, yeah. Dealt with those enforcement nights. Rider and Saber. Wait. What? What does that skill do? Probably random attacks for yourself? What? I've never used 100 faces. So. I don't think I even ever leveled at all on either server. We've defeated the hostile forces, but the source of the screaming question is still... Full full! That servant is close. Be careful. Help! Not tasty! Oh, stop. Don't breathe fire or anything. It's hot. Alright, okay, the whole thing about my meat being tasty is only a rumor. So don't treat me roughly. Hungry. I'm so hungry. Tota's a dummy. Oh yeah, Tota. I forgot about him. Shh, what a nuisance. I can't ignore a woman's scream. Curse me for not being cold-blooded Zade right now. I assume that's one of her personalities. That way, horsey, you. We spotted signs of the enemy. Uh, haven't we heard that voice before? I want it now. It must be some sort of mistake. Here I go, master. Yeah, that's a reference to the Journey to the, to the West event. That was like a month ago, I think. It was when she came out. Gotta be honest, probably my least favorite like, event. Like, gameplay-wise, that's standard. Everyone hates that event. But I didn't like the story of it. Probably because I haven't read Journey to the West. So the references were lost on me. But it was just... Eh. Yeah, also gameplay-wise, it was terrible. It doesn't help that right before it came out, the Japanese servers had the rerun of it. So I had to do it twice in like... Two to three weeks. This sandstorm's lagging me. Doesn't really matter too much since you guys aren't here for the gripping 60 frames per second gameplay. Hopefully. Well, hopefully, because. Oh, I'm recording at 30 right now. So, yeah, hopefully you're not. Because he's not here. <laughs> I've been switching between 30 and 60 for uh, visual novels and games I've been playing. Uh, like a month ago, I started playing Nier Automata, but I never got too far in it before. Just, you know, Grand Order happened, I guess. I plan to start uploading it after this. Uh, I have one series that will come before it, though, because that's pretty much completely done already. Basically, I'm waiting for Highway Blossoms to, to stop. I think my schedule is going to be right now. Basically, I have Fata Morgana, Grand Order, and Highway Blossoms. By the time you see this, Highway Blossoms will have stopped. And then the series I already have almost fully recorded will go after that. Then Fata Morgana will probably finish around then, so I'll do the Fata Morgana sequel. And I'll probably put near up around that time. And around that time, Babylon will probably be out. So I'll do that. And then... Soul Woman 2. They come out in like the same month, I think. I also plan to do... What's it? Fate Stella? I recorded a video for it, but I actually lost the footage. I didn't plan on uploading anytime soon, though, so it worked out. Although, I have to go through that opening sequence again. It'll be like the fourth time. Because I had it on the Vita originally. I never beat Extella. I got to the end of the first route that's Narrows. And then just stopped playing. Here, let's do Command Shuffle. Let's. <laughs> Give me that crit. I hate Binding Spriggans. Battle finish. I just heard Zetsubo. 
Thank you, Edmonds. Okay, oh, yeah, Vlad reached Bond 8. Uh, I don't I don't think that was on camera. That was this week, I think. Before his straight's video. The courts didn't get me anything. His courts from like Bond 6 or 7, though, I got made from it. So never forget that. It's Ryder? What's Ryder? Well, it's the servant thing, right? Yeah, I know that. Thanks. Who's the writer? I'm trying to think, but I don't really have another assassin level like F. Carmilla. But she's kind of, you know. It's just Vlad. Can we see the wait? What level is Jekyll? Fifty? Yeah, probably better than her. Hopefully, I won't need my backline, but you never know. Woo! You're completely defeated the hostile forces. There's no sign of any servants. Yeah, there's definitely a servant response. What this means is... How do you do a hick sound? Like, I don't know. That's scary. So scary. Why is it always when you're at your weakest that they all come at you? Like, BAM! I didn't do anything at all. Oh, well, I guess. I was hogging the water well, yes. But even then, I at least left enough for the wild animals. <laughs> A woman's crying. Who is she? What shall we do, senpai? Are you okay? Uh, look, I'm not doing sobbing sound effects. Sheesh, why do I always get into these situations? I mean, here lies here all alone. I can't hear the... But his sob does voice anymore. I don't know how to say that. Sniff. Turning in his spirit form feels kind of gross, so I don't want to... Uh, and it's all because... Oh, if only I didn't give Wukong and the boys time off. What, what else was I, was I supposed to do? Those idiot disciples were so unbelievably helpless. Wujing's still single at that age. Go back to the heavenly realm already and find yourself a wife. These references are lost on me. Then to think Bajai was actually married once. That he had a wife and kids. Sure sure I can get Judge a Pig by its cover. Haha, <laughs> nice one. Is that David in the event? I think so. But I can't forgive him for leaving his wife all alone. Hence, he's excommunicated and totally apologizes to her. That Wukong, back on Flowers and Fruit Mountain, he can have his pick. What's he doing hanging around me? Hurry back to your mountain so that everyone can feel safe. Me? I'm perfectly fine alone. I'm going to become a Buddha. I can worry about falling in love after that. Uh, senpai, this lady. Could it be? Didn't we get lost in her heart heart's labyrinth once? Huh? That's the servant you've been talking about? Yes, she's definitely a servant. Considering her aura and her magical energy, there's no doubt about it. Nonsense. Are you saying that despite her top level spirit origin, she's screaming from an animal attack? Oh. Wyvern! What is this? What is that gigantic monster? There shouldn't be any monsters like this that in this land. What? No, could that dragon be? I didn't have any food, so I figured I'd ask the white dragon horse for help. When I tried to summon him, I failed. So I told him, sorry, I can't send you home. Just give me give up. Then he got angry and attacked me. There'd be a demonic dragon that's making people suffer in France? Senpai, I see it now too. This lady is indeed interesting. Alright, so is this Fafnir? Or... <laughs> Should I write Sasaki Kojiro? What? Do I have... I don't think I have him leveled on this one. Like, maybe level 30. Oh yeah, fun fact. He was the first servant that I leveled in. On the Japanese servers. That was back in the day when he only had one support servant. That was you. That was the person that's the head of your party. So mine was always like my level 30 Sasaki Gojiro. So, like, I read French, no problem, but then the meme started, you know. Sasaki Gojiro in France. And I was, I was like, oh. Basically, I just wanted to serve him, then I actually knew. Because, like, I was like, Ushi Wakamayo, who is that? And, like, this Charles Sanson, I know I got him early. A couple others is like, I don't care about these guys. Give me the OG squad. So I just use Sasaki Kojiro. Because here's the only. I might have gotten Hassan at some point, but I've never. Until now, I've never really liked Hassan. Oh. I love that. They didn't kill him. This game has been great for the side characters. 
in paint. Like, Kassin was a pretty shallow character in Heaven's Fuel. But here, like, we get to enjoy. Please, okay, ooh. Lucky. My hero in X is still only level 80. Need to get her up to 90, so I have a... Well, I don't know what her growth curve is, but still. Because I don't have another assassin level. Great dragon. It's a lot of HP. Lad is going to die here, I think? Uh, yeah. Should I go for the Vlad chain? I think so. Waver's also going to die, so... Pass the torch. Get the crit. I'm in the stun, sorry. I'm just go for an arts train. I should have probably one for that bus tree since it was going to crit, but... Well, most likely crit. Go Vlad! What does Kazaliki mean? I know Bay means like Lord or Ruler. But is Kazaliki the area? Not sure. I know DC Ray refers to it though, so it's something. Okay, Anger Manu. Give him everything you got. Do I want it? Yeah, let's try it. Sweet! Okay. Show us that secret caliber. This great dragon's actually just a saber. Does she get it? Does he strengthen and give her a quick up? I forget. It won't come out for a while. I know it gets her, gives her invulnerability on her instinct. But... Okay, what do I want to do here? Do I want to use Anger Manual? Yeah, let's use him. I heard that laugh. You get a Anger Manual. You did the same damage as Jekyll. He's level 50. Proud of you. Okay. It's over. Thank you for helping, Jekyll. You're pretty cool. I really do like Jekyll. But like, you know, putting Grails into him for him to be good. Eh. Like, I'm not just gonna use a level 70. Well, <laughs> I just use a level 50 servant. <laughs> That's right, I, I am. So, I have no idea how Chinese pronunciation works, but I believe this is Shanzong Sanzong. With the guidance of the Buddha, I've materialized in this world. My class? Castor, of course. Not much of a reaction, huh? Well, no matter. I'll continue. I summoned somewhere in this world about half a year ago. Following the Buddha's guidance, I traveled the Silk Road and ended up here. Of course, I'm here to stop the up unprecedented crisis happening here in the Holy Land. Honestly, this is all nothing but trouble for me. In your rogue spirit form, I'm still technically on my way back from Tianzu, after all. However, guidance is guidance, so I must go. That's why I'm here, in this forsaken land, this land of endless sandstorms. Sabhala. This is Sham Shamala. Wait, really? Huh, that doesn't sound right. Well, let's not get caught up in the details. That your feelings always be composed, as calm as the river Genghis? Know that this is the way to great enlightenment, okay? Shanzong Sanzong. Sanzong, right? Don't seem like a servant of the holy city. You do seem to be quite temper temperamental, though. Um, Monk Sanzong? Are you aware of this area's circumstances? Do you know Do you know of the Lion King's holy city? Yes, of course. After all, I lived there for two months as an, as an honored guest. You, you lived in the holy city? Yes, it was quite a ple pleasant place. Everyone was so carefree and happy. There wasn't a wicked person in sight. But I didn't feel like I belonged there, so I left. I had other places I wanted to see too. Um, you there, horsey you was it? Thank you for saving me. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. 
And, um, it's Mashu, right? Uh, yes. Thank you for helping me just now. And you skeletons, thank you too. That leaves the mage, Mr. Voice Only. On, uh, that little rabbit there. Fofo? Well, it is hard to remember a name without a face. Anyway, will you be joining us? Of course! I always try to return the favors I receive. And I'm sure I came here for that purpose. Monk Sansong is known for traveling as the traveling high priest, so it's only natural for me to join you on your journey. Yes, thank you, Sansong. Everything's happening so fast I can barely keep up, but it's certainly nice to have an increase in fighting, fighting power. Thank you, Monk Sansong. The assistance of a servant is an unexpected stroke of luck. Not a stroke of luck. The Lord Buddha's divine protection. You all have the Lord Buddha's divine protection. That would be me. I don't have Wukong or Bajai or Wu Jing or the White Dragon voice. Nor can I hear the the Bo Bodhisattva's voice, but whatever. I'm the high priestess who shall one day become a Buddha. Shanzong Zanzong. Just you watch. Like the Buddha's palm, I'll save you all. It's like BAM! Okay. I don't quite understand the situation, but it's good to have more fighting power. Never a dull moment with Horsey Eat You, is there? Yes, yes, she was crying alone just now, but I'll pretend I didn't see that. <laughs> Doctor, you just said that out loud! Oh. Yeah! I, I couldn't help it, okay? I can't stand being by, by myself. Makes me feel lonely. Lonely, scared, and helpless. Tono won't come for me either. I've called and called, but he won't come at all. Sniff. Don't worry, Sansong. You're not alone anymore. Uh, it's like you're already one of us. Yeah, you're right. I'm not alone. Now that you've calmed down, may I ask a question? Sure. What is it, Mr. Skeleton? Did you come here on your own? Seems like you came from the direction of the desert. That's the thing. I actually had one disciple. A servant I met a while ago. He's so hopeless that I took him under my, ring, my wing. And that idiot, he got captured in front of the Holy City Army's fort. I'm his mentor, so I tried to go back and save him. But then I lost my way and... Oh, this is beyond helpless. Alright, just leave it all to us. Exactly, our, objects, our object, objectives are so well aligned. It just feels like fate. Huh? I mean, you'll come with me to the fort? Of course. After all, Senpai's headed there as well. Oh! Thanks, Oisei you. I just love you. That settles it. You can be my disciple. Don't worry, I'm already your... First dis Second disciple? I forget. First? Yeah, I'm not really supposed to play favorites, but I'll do everything I can to help you. Thanks, whatever. I think I've had enough of being a disciple. <laughs> okay. That's chapter 8. I assume chapter 9. I think that might be the Lancelot fight. Because we know he's coming. It makes sense if he's at the board, I guess. How many chapters is it? Well, how many sec- Whatever. Four. Flower of Poison, Blade of Iron. 100% serenity there. Blade of Iron could really be anyone. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We have... I'm at four quarts now? It's tempting. Like, I'd really like Nightingale. I have her on the Japanese servers. I got her when I... When she first came out trying to get Maeve. But, uh... She's neat. I have her, like, what? Bond 8? 9, maybe? Well, I can't check on here because I have to switch apps. Too much effort, though. Yeah, so anyway, I'll be back next time. Maybe not tomorrow, because I think... How do you... I don't know how to say it. The next Lost Belt comes out tomorrow. So I might be doing that all day. Depends. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye!